Well, a little sad news. I did have to dispose of a Pocostomus. I last video I think he was sitting right about there. And I didn't realize he had passed. So I came in this morning, found him laying there and I had to get rid of him. Um, I'm not sure what happened to him. Um, I am treating for the ick. I don't know if you can see him. The other one is right there. You can see his pectoral fin and he's upside down on the lip of the filter. Um, they're feeding him right now. The, the ick isn't a whole lot better at this moment. I do notice that this guy had a little bit ick right on the center of his eye and that seems to be gone. So maybe it's working. That stuff I started treating him with yesterday, the guy at the pet store was raving about it. I've been doing a 15% weekly water change. As needs increase, I may need to change that percentage a little, but because as you see by the size of these Oscars, they just, they uh, are nowhere near their potential size. A lot of places say, a lot of sites will tell, well, right, the pet store pet, that we bought these from, the tag on there says up to 12 inches. I think that's a conservative estimate because uh, I've seen many different estimations, 12. 12 to 14, even 16 inch. So, I mean, hey, we'll see. Um, maybe aquarium size will have a little bit of a factor. See, he's covered in uh, the ick, but he seems so much spunkier today. And he was a little, he was having a little trouble last night. His fins were clamped, and he was a, uh, he was a, uh, Hit, uh, well, you know, running in things to scratch himself. So, I think really to get the full potential of this uh, LED bubble bar, I need to uh, have a stronger air pump. Because as you can see, it's not bubbling all the way to the end. I guess the other option would have been just get a shorter bar, but well, I like this one anyway. I might upgrade a pump. And does anyone know if you can combine air pumps to work together? I don't really think you can, but just curious. Anyway, comment below if you know. Because uh, my concern is if I put two pumps together, they'll fight each other. But then I wonder, then if that's the case, how do the double double uh, diaphragm pumps not fight each other? So, any rate. So... As you can see, I know it's a little harder to tell with albinos, but these guys are not um, as ill. They don't have any ick on them. I wonder if I got any issue. It came in on this little female I got from pet store. I don't think I'll be buying too many more fish from. As you can see, it just itched itself. I'm thinking it's whatever affecting these guys. Again. Like I said in the last video, I'm treating them with this stuff. It's called MicroLift Herbal Actives Freshwater 100% natural expellent for parasitic diseases. It says white spots, which is ick, flukes, gill, and skin. Well, pronunciation, take your best shot. Uh, Costia. Da 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 da. Greek, Greek. Anyway, these diseases at any rate. One thing I like better about this than uh, some of the other things that they've I've had is this here has a measuring, measuring actual measuring cup on the top. Some of the other stuff isn't so nice, but oh, you guys, they're still a fruit. Hey. Hey, up here. There's food up here, buddy. 
<clears throat> in one of my videos where I was bringing this tank back from uh, the desolation it was, whatever you want to call it. I uh, was thinking about using one of my old filters just to help circulate water because I do notice that this, this big one's over here by itself. It's kind of pushing everything this way to this side of the aquarium. That's originally why I wanted a second of filter when I started this aquarium 20 years ago so because it just pushed the fish all to one side and also I think the aggression of the convicts that's why I put the castle back in there because it gives them a plate contained it's more contained I think they really only come out for feeding times so um, as far as ooh, that's kind of cool fish are taking on the colors this one by um, but the, but the, um, being in the castle, I think, helps tone it, because it's a more defined border to their territory. But as you know, Oscars will grow exponentially bigger than what these are right now. And at some, after a while, the convicts will not even be a blip on their radar, except for when they brood. And sometimes I create better hiding places just because it keeps their uh, aggression level in check. I think when they're able to hide their young a little more securely, they feel <clears throat> they don't feel like they have to go out and go on a hunting expedition as much as usual. They're not super aggressive, but I think convicts are more aggressive. Yeah, that won't last. I think convicts are more aggressive for the average cichlid and fish their size because they're one of the smaller South American cichlids you can get. <clears throat> Most places I see say they go up to th uh, four inches length. The place where I got the Oscar set up to six for them and fire mouths, but I'm not sure about that. But I think because they are small, so small comparatively speaking, that they uh pack more of a wallop to hang with the big guys and that that's just opinion but in any case now if any of you ever had something called glass catfish that actually might pretty pretty uh select to see one of those swim over that light bar except for the in here they did quickly become a glass fillet well anyway I did have to <clears throat> flush up a cosmos. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. He sees it. The tank's a lot clearer than the camera makes it look. So, there we go. But he is acting better. He's a little happier. I'm going to continue treatments. Um, only 15 milliliters treats this entire aquarium. So, alrighty.